Imagine a world long before our own when vast warm seas covered much of what is now land. In these ancient waters life teemed in incredible diversity. Dinosaurs ruled the land but beneath the waves another giant lurked. Tusotuthis. This invertebrate titan was neither reptile nor fish, but a cephalopod, related to today's squids and octopuses. Tusotothis is believed to be the largest invertebrate ever, a true giant of the Cretaceous seas. It lived around 80 million years ago in the Western Interior Seaway, a vast inland sea that split North America. In this dynamic, dangerous environment, Tusotothis was a formidable predator. Most invertebrates are small, think insects or snails, but Tusotothis shattered that expectation. Its existence challenges our ideas of what boneless creatures can become. Fossils of Tusotothis are rare, mostly limited to its internal shell, the gladius, but each discovery offers a precious glimpse into its world. Scientists reconstruct its story from these fragments, piecing together the life of this ancient giant. Tusotothis reminds us that the giants of the past weren't just dinosaurs, oceans too harbored creatures of breathtaking size. This ancient squid was a marvel of evolution, a soft-bodied behemoth among armored marine reptiles and giant fish. Its reign may be long over, but Tusotothis continues to capture our imagination. It paints a vivid picture of a truly alien, yet earthbound existence deep beneath the Cretaceous waves. Let's dive deeper into the world of this prehistoric giant. When it comes to size, Tusotothis was a true giant. Based on fossilized gladius remains, some individuals may have reached up to 11 meters, about 36 feet long. Some evidence hints at even greater lengths, possibly up to 18 meters, rivaling the size of small whales. Imagine an invertebrate longer than a bus, weighing nearly a ton. Its massive boneless body was supported by the dense water and powerful muscles, making it a dominant presence in its ancient seas. For comparison, even the largest modern sharks and crocodiles would be dwarfed by Tusotothis. Its size is estimated by comparing fossil gladii to those of modern squids, allowing paleontologists to reconstruct its monumental proportions. Each new fossil fragment refines our understanding of just how large these creatures could grow. Even conservative estimates reveal an invertebrate of astonishing scale, a true king of its domain. Encountering Tusotothis would have been an awe-inspiring, unforgettable experience. Beyond its size, Tusotothis had another remarkable feature, its eyes. Based on modern relatives, its eyes may have been as large as dinner plates, up to 16 inches across. These enormous eyes were highly adapted for the dim, deep waters where it hunted. Large eyes gather faint light, allowing Tusotothis to spot prey or predators in the ocean's twilight zone. This keen vision gave it a crucial edge, whether hunting fish or avoiding giant marine reptiles. The size and sophistication of its eyes represent a peak in marine evolution. Even today, the colossal squid's eyes are the largest known, and Tusotothis likely shared this adaptation. Its eyes were true windows into the ancient, shadowy world it ruled. Though Tusotothis vanished millions of years ago, its legacy lives on in today's giant and colossal squids. The giant squid can reach up to 14 meters, echoing Tusotothis's elongated form. The colossal squid, while shorter, is much heavier and has the largest eyes of any living animal, a trait shared with Tusotothis. Both modern giants are elusive, rarely seen alive, adding to their mystique. Tusotothis belonged to an extinct family, while today's giants evolved separately, but their similarities offer clues to its life. Studying modern cephalopods helps us imagine Tusotothis's hunting strategies and adaptations. The challenges of being a massive, soft-bodied predator in the ocean are timeless. By observing living giants, we glimpse the struggles and triumphs of this prehistoric behemoth. Life for Tusotothis was a constant battle, hunter and hunted in the rich Cretaceous seas. It likely preyed on fish, smaller cephalopods, and perhaps even young marine reptiles, using powerful tentacles and a sharp beak. But it also faced threats from apex predators like mosasaurs and giant sharks. Fossil evidence, such as sucker marks on bones, hints at these ancient struggles. Much about Tusotothis remains a mystery. Its soft body rarely fossilized, leaving many questions unanswered. We don't know its exact appearance, behavior, or life cycle. Yet this very mystery fuels our fascination. 
Each fossil discovery adds a brushstroke to its portrait, reminding us of the ocean's ancient secrets. Tusa Tuthis stands as a testament to the wonders of prehistoric life, inspiring awe millions of years after its reign.